Hello, you are welcome. Can you compare between 5 raised to the power of 4311 against 4 raised to the power of 5311 and find the bigger number without the use of calculator? Can you do that? That's what we're going to do in this video. Now, let's start with the first number right here. We have 5 raised to the power of 4311 and we can have it as we have 5 raised to the power of this is the same thing as 4000 plus 311. So we have 4000 plus 311. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to apply this index rule that says if you have a power n plus m, and this equals a power n times a power m. So that means we are going to have 5 power 4000 times 5 power 311. Now we go again, then we can have 5 instead of this 4000 here. We can have it as 4 times 1000. So we have 4 times 1000. Then we have this will multiply 5 raised to the power of 3, 1, 1. So the next thing we are going to do is to apply another identity that is another index rule. If you have a power n times m, this equals a power n raised to the power of m. So we apply it right here. We are going to have 5 raised to the power of 4. And this is raised to the power of 1000. Then this will multiply 5 raised to the power of 3, 1, 1. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to find the value of 5 raised to the power of 4. And this simply means 5 into 4 places, which is 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. And this will give you 6 to 5. Because 5 times 5 is 25, this is 1 to 5, and this is 6 to 5. So we have 6 to 5, and this is raised to the power of 1000 times 5 raised to the power of 3, 1, 1. Now, the next thing we are going to do is we can simply have this 1000 as the summation of 6, 8, 9, and 3, 1, 1. So this is what I mean. We are going to have 6 to 5 raised to the power of instead of 1000, you are going to get 6, 8, 9, then you have plus 3, 1, 1. If you add these two, you are going to get this 1000, and that is not all. Then you have times 5 raised to the power of 3, 1, 1. So we apply this same identity again. Remember, a power n plus m equals a power n times a power m. So we use it right here. We are going to have 6 to 5 raised to the power of 6, 8, 9 times 6 to 5 raised to the power of 3, 1, 1. And this will multiply 5 raised to the power of 3, 1, 1. So everything we are going to have 6 to 5 raised to the power of 6, 8, 9. And this will multiply. Then the next thing is for us to combine these bases since the exponent are the same. So we are going to have 6 to 5 times 5 raised to the power of 3, 1, 1. So this will give you 6 to 5 raised to the power of 6, 8, 9 times 6 to 5 times 5, you are going to get 3, 1, 2, 5. And this is raised to the power of 3, 1, 1. Now, we can stop here for this particular one here. So, we can express 5 raised to the power of 4, 3, 1, 1 as this. They are the same thing. Now, the next thing is for us to go ahead and copy the second number that we are comparing with. That is this. 4 power 5, 3, 1, 1. Now let's also do that. And we are going to try and express that in this form so that we can compare. So we have 4 power 5, 3, 1, 1. And this equals, what you're going to do is we do the same thing. This is the same thing as 4 power 5,000 
plus 311 and we apply the same identity that means we are going to have 4 power 5000 times 4 power 311 now we do the same thing again we can express this 5000 as the product of 5 and 1000 so we are going to have 4 raised to the power 5 times 1000 and times 4 raised to the power of 311. So the next thing we are going to do is we apply the same identity. Remember a power n or power m equals a power n times m. So we apply the same identity and we are going to have 4 power 5 or raised to the power of 1000 times 4 power 311. So 4 raised to the power of 5 is simply 4 into 5 places. And that is 1024. 1024 because 4 raised to the power of 5 is the same thing as 2 raised to the power of 10, which is 1024. That's the same thing. So we are going to use 1024 there. We are going to have 1024, and this is raised to the power of 1000 times 4 raised to the power of 311. And also, we can have this 1000 as the summation of 689 and 311. So we do the same thing. We are going to have this equals 1024 raised to the power of 689 plus 311 times 4 raised to the power of 311. Right? So we apply the same identity as well. A power n plus m equals a power n times a power m. So we are going to have 1024 raised to the power of 689 times 1024 raised to the power of 311 times 4 raised to the power of 311. Now the exponents are all the same. We can just multiply the bases. So we are going to have 1024 raised to the power of 689 times we have 1024 times 4, and this is raised to the power of 311. Have you seen that? So let's multiply these two out. We are going to have 1024 raised to the power of 689 times 1024 times 4. You are definitely going to have 4096. 4096, and this is raised to the power of 311. So now, this is for 4 raised to the power of 5, 3, 1, 1. Now we cannot compare the both because they are now in the same form. So we have this against 5 raised to the power of 4, 3, 1, 1. And that one was, I've written it somewhere there. Let me go and get it. Remember, here is it. 6 to 5 power 6, 8, 9 and 3, 1, 2, 5 power 3, 1, 1. So we have. 6 to 5 power 689 times 3125 power 311. So we are going to compare these two now. Look at it here. This is 1024. This is 6 to 5. The exponent here and the exponent here are the same. The 1024 is greater than 6 to 5. This is 4096. This is 3125. And this alone is greater. Have you seen that? Since the exponent are all the same. So at this point, we can say that 4 power 5, 3, 1, 1 is greater than 5 power 4, 3, 1, 1. So we come over here and we use this sign to demonstrate that this one here is lesser than 4 power 5, 3, 1, 1. So that is it in this particular video. I believe you enjoyed the class. Kindly subscribe and share this video. Thank you and Goodbye.